All right, all right, all right, Pisces. Treat me nice, please. It is me, it is Shiva, it is Vira, it is Scorpio, Red Tarot. And I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of August 2021. We are here to have some fun. Listen, you guys, um, I put in a little bit of extra love into this reading today so go ahead and get you some wine get you some snacks or something because we gonna be here for a minute um because i am late with giving you guys the august reading i am going to do a little special deal by um you know doing a couples versus singles reading once we get to the love portion of the reading so this is going to be fun today and it's going to be an extended reading so just wanted to give you that warning in advance i want to give a shout out to all my ogs a shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of my babies thank you so much for like sharing and subscribing and clicking this video make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button if this video resonate um and if there's anyone that would like to book a personal private reading with me the only thing you need to do is click the description box of this video or click the about tab on my youtube page it gives you the pricing and the best way to connect with me is to send me a message on instagram messenger if you don't have instagram just shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com all right pisces you know as we always do we give father god the universe the creator whatever it is that you want to call him and how he resonates with you love praise and acknowledgement and just give him his flowers before we ask for any type of guidance today so if you wouldn't mind by your head with me in prayer father god thank you so much for coming in our life thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of pisces we thank you so much for all of the gifts and the blessings we thank you so much for all of the manifestations that we have been focusing our energy on and praying on we thank you for um every step that we're making that is getting us closer to reaching that goal father god um, we thank you for family we thank you for employment father god a lot of us have been hustling out here looking for employment and just you know along the way just making sure that we got our hustle on trying to make some dollars doing odd and in work and just you know we thank you for the hustle we thank you for the ambition we thank you for our intuition father god we ask you for um, guidance for today we thank you for the gift of, of nourishment and daily bread for every day please give us guidance for the sign of pisces for august 2021 we thank you for all of the blessings the gifts and the lessons in the past present and future in jesus name amen amen and amen all right all right so pisces let's get into this reading let's see what's going on with your general energy here let's see what we got pisces for august 2021. All right, Pisces. All right, give me my card for Pisces. Thank you so much. Give me my card for Pisces. All right, what is this here? Okay, 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 okay. So this is the card that we have here. I feel like you guys are entertainers. You guys have been putting on a... You guys have been performing. You definitely are in the performing arts arena. I think that things have been picking up. You've been definitely seeing transformation in regards to your skills and abilities. And I want to say that you guys feel like you could pull off a production on your own. Maybe you guys need to work on creating your own production. As you can see, this person is orchestrating this thing by themselves. So, um... I think it's time that people start working behind you and supporting you in your endeavors. Let me see what else I got going on here. Yeah, like that's all I'm getting is they did. You've definitely been like progressing in your craft. In the entertainment field, you've been showcasing your talents. And I think that you've been getting a very good reception during your shows or or your lives or whatever it is like people think that you're comical they think that they get a message from what you're doing i i feel like you're very gifted let me see what the book says um let me see what the book says this means ooh. 
This means manipulation, control, role playing, wishful thinking. Wow, hold on. That was completely off what I was thinking. But I definitely feel if you guys are in performer arts, like what I said, stands. But let's see what the heck this is talking about. It says life is a cabaret, a theater, a performance. We are acting out our roles as villains and as heroes. The, mar the marionettes, we are both manipulating. Um, he says, the, like the minari uh, 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 sorry. Like the marionettes, we are both manipulated and manipulating, writing and following the script. We share the stage with others for some acts and performance and solos in others. In this parody, we can create artificial scenarios or plan outcomes. We can transform into something or someone that we are not. There may be a creative benefit in that we are encouraged to fulfill our dreams and wishes. The danger of losing oneself in the role and losing touch with reality beyond the stages indoor. Okay. So, I'm getting one thing and then the card is saying another thing there could be someone that is being played like a fiddle here okay <laughs> let's go further let's see let's see I see that ace of wands right there hold on what's this this is the six of swords that just popped out this is someone being encouraged to move on. It's like they're being helped to. So I don't know if this is if this is what that they're talking about because this could be someone being in someone's head, manipulating, and someone being manipulated by another person because the Six of Swords is basically telling you that someone is being assisted and making a decision to leave and relocate they're having assistance so this could mean someone is being manipulated uh by another person to remove their self from a situation let's see let's go for it let's go forward because this 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 took a turn I was being all positive and nice and everything. And then I read the book. And I'm like, whoa, well, hold on. What you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? Hold on. Let's see what the heck is going on. Clarify the Six of Swords. And this card here. What is this? The Empress in Reverse. Someone's been complaining about their environment. That they feel uncomfortable. Um... And I feel like the person that is that they're getting this encouragement and this assistance from, this is the four of wands. So, okay. Basically what I'm getting here, someone, this empress in the reverse here, she's been complaining about her home environment, um, whatever her current situation is. She feels uncomfortable. She feels like um, her needs are not getting met. She feels like things are not growing. Uh, the generosity that she's been giving has not been reciprocated. This is someone that believes that they deserve uh, to be celebrated with the Four of Wands. They, they, they feel like they should have like a grand audience or something like that. Like um, It's something of that nature. They feel that they deserve... Um, To be acknowledged in a certain way and to be celebrated. I feel like they feel like they're the star for some reason. They want like flowers thrown at their feet. And they're not getting it. I feel like this person has been complaining about it. This woman could have manipulated this man to help her move. She's saying that she's in search for something that is going to give some type of... Uh, constant it's like it's going to give like a constant feel of 
happiness, a constant feel of warmth, a constant feel of comfort where she can turn this upside down. She feels comfortable. She's the queen of her castle. Everything is beautiful. Everything is up to date, you know. So it's like this person I feel could be manipulating someone into believing that she's not in a comfortable environment. And she wants to go home or she wants to go to another place else. And I don't see typically like there's a child in this picture. It's like a woman with a child. I do feel like this is not, this feel like a male energy right there. That is a male energy. I don't know if it's a man that left, if it was a man that left. And he, it, okay, so I just heard that it's a man that left and he's telling other people to come on. They're saying something is not a safe place. It's not a safe place because it's like this person is telling things that they want other people to believe about why someone left. That's basically what I'm getting. Some strings are being manipulated and being pulled here, period. Someone left because they want happiness. They want to be recognized. They want to be celebrated. They want It's like they want their friends and family to come and be comfortable and to enjoy their self. Do you understand what I'm saying? And for some reason... There's a separation. There was a, there's a detachment. There's people not talking to each other. And um, said that this, this woman is not ready to undress herself in the public. Is not ready to truly reveal. Um, I, they're saying like her flaws. Give me guidance. Give me guidance. I don't know why in all honesty I feel like this 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 man here this male energy I don't know if this is the Pisces I could have been dealing with an air sign too as well I don't know I mean because the Empress that's the Gemini right so and again the six of swords is thoughts there's someone that's made their mind up they may not understand or know how they're going to get to a safer place to get to a better existence that's why they're asking for help and this person is has been receiving help so regardless of what like this person this male energy has been receiving assistance to move away to find it's like move away from this feminine energy it's just not a, a, a positive promotion for this I feel like this person's mental health or something I don't know why I'm getting that. It's like this part, and again, what's this distant horizons? I knew it. it this is like someone, I want to say has had enough and really knows that what's best of them can't be given to this individual or, yeah, it just cannot, it, it, it would be wasted, you know? Um, this person could possibly be moving to like another country not necessarily another country but like another zip code but could possibly move to another state or something like that and i want to say it could be moving permanently so someone is moving um because they, it's like they don't really care about what strings this person is pulling and who believes this person about what happened you know it's like this person wants happiness this person wants like commitment and marriage i don't feel like this person left for nothing and I'm not trying to make it seem like that the Empress in the reverse is like so wrong or anything like that. But it seems in these cards that this is the person that's upside down. And I see the male energy leaving with his thoughts and his mind intact. And he's doing what he needs to do for himself. Listen, change came out. Change. And again, this is. Uh, removal. This is someone that's having to relocate. So I don't know if 
this person I want to say this person moved to another zip code. This person moved to a completely different area, has been receiving assistance. For some reason, I don't feel like this person was in the wrong. This person is being urged to change. With the Empress in the reverse, it's telling me it's something that's outdated. It's something that needs to be cleaned. It's something that needs to be refurbished. Um... It's but it's from the inside though, you know, because the way you thinking you carry yourself in your mind and your spirit and your body, it reflects the way you dress, the way you talk, the way you, you know, interact with people is something that needed to be something needs to be changed. And this person is being forced to move as well. Give me guidance here about this four of wands. The family room. Yeah, in a certain well. Okay. So I definitely feel like this 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 was a couple. This was a couple. Cause I'm getting nothing but like love straight up out of the general energy for you guys. Um I wanna say that this person will probably send for their children. This person is going to that four of wands. Because I feel like this person has a healthy mindset. This person knows what they want. This person has a set and set of standards. This person really wants better for themselves. They're moving from troubled waters to, you know, a steel reserve. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's not drama. Like, this person doesn't like a lot of drama and foolishness and everything. And this person moved away for their peace. I see sudden wealth right here under this person. The family room is being changed. It's being modified for this person. If you guys have children with each other, I can see this person sending for their children to come to whatever state or wherever they live for the summer for Christmas, it, it'll be like some type of arranged something. Whatever it is, it's like you would have to take a boat or fly to get to this person. This person does not, is not going to be local anymore. And again, with this sudden wealth here, this person moves away and comes into a lot of fortune. This person took their peace and blessings with them. Straight up. This person had to, again, I feel like whoever this is, is a gifted, talented artist a gifted and talented artist they do something in the arts some type of performance they're very gifted and talent in it and wherever they're at currently i don't feel like is where they will be rooted to like reach the success that they're going to be known for it's going to be somewhere else it's going to be in another state it's going to be in another location and again you got the sudden wealth right there with that 777 so God bless y'all. Y'all continue doing what you're doing. And I definitely feel like they are going to find success in marriage. And a happy. Like this person left because they need a healthy and happy relationship. And a place to raise their children. And for their family to come to. To enjoy themselves. They're like family is very important to this person. For some reason. It's, the empress in the reverse is someone that doesn't know how to. Like her mothering skills are often something about her upkeep, her in overall in general thoughts of herself and how she is it, just whoever this is has issues. Like I just like I'm not a therapist, but baby, only thing I can tell you is like this person has a lot of growing up to do and has to realize that um, there's change that needs to be made, especially in the family room. Like, you need to clean up. You need to take care of your children a little bit better. You maybe need to relocate. This could be someone that, um, I, I, I don't want to say is living beyond their means, but it's like they need to change their family environment to make it more comfortable. Like, you need new space. You need to, something where you will be able to keep the upkeep up because I don't know why the inputs in reverse I always look at it like it's just someone that she just she don't be cleaning up her house and like the empress in the reverse the queen of pinnacles in the reverse is someone that's not is known for being beauty beautiful and 
like this that's like a woman like you see her on the outside she looks really beautiful and all of that stuff she seems like a nice person but then you go into her house her house is filthy dirty all of the dishes is dirty carpet is a mess it's shit all over the goddamn floor the kids is uh, 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 disrespectful running around don't listen to her that's not the true empress do you understand what i'm saying so it's like you would what you see on how the person presents themselves versus what they really are it don't match and that's why that person left okay this person may even go by the name of empress who knows and not a true empress and then you got the queen of pentacles in the reverse i just sat up there and said didn't i just say that the queen of pentacles in the reverse i just said that then you got the magician and then again so okay give me one more card please someone is manifesting marriage they're manifesting commitment they're manifesting a happy home um and again, they want something with strings attached, something where it's like, I want to say, I don't want to say structure and control by them, but with the magician, it's like, I created this, I called this into my life, I pray for this, I pray for my success, I pray for this happiness, do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like, I did this. Like, my energy created this. What is this? The two of bonds in the reverse. So, the two of bonds in the reverse is like, this person could have been holding on uh, for some reason. It's, it's like, they could have been holding on, like, uh, trying to put energy towards some type of change. But then, after a while, they realized nothing was going to change. But it was like, they were so stagnant and trying to make this decision to move because it's like I don't know what my life will look like over there but guess what if you move on in a distant horizon it's sudden wealth if you just make this if you take the assistance take the assistance and trust in yourself your success is not here it's over there <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying so if this is someone that is still holding on and wishing for change and dealing with whatever the issues is with this person when this person is being urged to change too because this person isn't acting like a true empress a true queen of pentacles like you are not it's like this person could have been um given this title without having to actually pass the test of and, and and be vetted to see if they're qualified for the position do you understand what i'm saying it's something the, this 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 feminine energy needs to change and i don't take it how it resonates but again it has something to do with the family structure and the way that this person takes care of their family this is the reason why this person left And again, it's something about the family room. Something about the family room. This needs to change. It needs to be updated. It needs to be modified. And again, um, I feel like this male energy is taking their gifts and their talents elsewhere. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, I'm a performer. I can move all over the world and do performing arts and create a loving and happy and balanced life for myself that is what this person is using their power for with this magician card they're trying to manifest they're trying to use all of the elements to bring a peaceful life into existence for themselves i feel like they do not want to it's not that they don't want to be with their family they don't want to deal with someone that does not recognize that they need to change do you understand and before I will be under your manipulation or allow, because I do feel like at some point it's there, there is someone trying to change the narrative and manipulate the narrative to where it's not looking like this in their lack thereof is the issue. 
And it's like, oh, I just left for no reason. No, this person is about to leave and be blessed. So always pay attention to what people are fucking saying and what their life looks like and what, what their life appears to look like versus what you actually see manifesting in the other person's life. If this person is so bad, why is everything good for this person then? What's going on with you? What's going on in your house for real? Why, why did you have to move? You know what I'm saying? Do you understand? So it's like... Mm -hmm. And with the Queen of Pentacles, it's like something about bad money management. Or... Um, there needs to be change. There needs to be um, some type of permanent residency where you can like stabilize your home. I don't know if you need to like... Check your finances again and see what you can really afford to do or something. But I'm getting displacement. I'm getting displacement. Like, I don't know if someone got put out or, like, what happened. But it's like, you see how this person is, like, trying to throw everything in this vehicle. And it's like, yeah, someone is, is moving. So, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. In fact, no. Okay, give me two cards. What is this? You got the two of diamonds. Alright. And then you got the ten of spades. So, basically, the two of diamonds is basically telling me that things are um, opening up. I feel like there's uh, more waves of positive communication after an ending. Because the ten of spades is like basically accepting failure. Like So, someone basically accepted failure in a situation. And... Once they moved on, things started to turn around. Um, the Two of Diamonds is like intellectual exchanges, uh, conversations. I want to say even being invited. Uh, ooh, they're saying being live, uh, invited to live stream with someone. I don't. It's like you may be invited to like perform with someone live, like. In, on some type of streaming something, but it has like a lot of viewers or something. Like I, I, I'm getting like a collab collaboration. I feel like it's positive changes, but like sometimes you have to accept failure. Like not for nothing. Like the tennis spades is not a good card, but if it's the way you look at it, you know, it's a, you live and you learn. Sometimes you have to just fucking accept failure. Like this shit didn't work out, you know. I'm not going to let this be get the best of me. I'm going to take the what's rest of me and I'm going to move on and I'm going to be successful with it. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not going to let nothing stop my stride. Like, that's basically what I'm getting here. This is saying what? Time to decide. Stop procrastinating. Balance and act. Multiple irons in the fire. Burning the candle at both ends. Juggling multiple financial op obligations, adopt adapting to new circumstances, important discussions, compromise, uncertainty, decisions reached, questioning one's love, discussions over money, oppositions, changing ideas. Let me read from you guys from where I learned cardamancy from. The Two of Diamonds means intellectual exchanges, financial partnerships. It's a small money card, a payment made or received, written correspondence, financial news, a statement, a bill, insurance paper, a written report, independence, a fertile imagination, a writer, a journalist, financial help or loan, the stomach, food, or the kitchen. That's what the two of diamonds and like I said this is someone receiving some help baby to get to the other side it's like someone helping you out so you don't have to worry because the six of swords is coming after the five of swords is when you really know that people are trying like manipulative war tactics on you and it's like let me get the fuck away from this help me get away from this bitch before I kill her you know what I'm saying <laughs> like some shit like that is the five of swords is not good it, that that's like an enemy card that's like no do you understand it's not good this says 
Misuse of trust. Efforts didn't pay off accepting defeat. Miscommunication. Low frequency burdens. Be careful what you tolerate. Tower moment. Cleaning up a messy situation. Lows before highs. Embracing new experiences. Being open to change. A challenging time will come to an end. A fresh start. I, I told you it's like as soon as you just decide to just move on and accept defeat like things turn around for you things turn around so let me tell you what it means from this thread ten of spades is traditionally a card of misfortune grief ruin tragic endings this card casts an ominous shadow across the surrounding cards in the spread the negative emotions associated with unfortunate events in life. Emotions such as fear, worry, sadness, tears, disappointment, depression, grief. This card can reveal the hang-ups and fears that block us from reaching our goals. Obsessiveness or compulsive behavior, secrets, mystery, lies, suspicion, deception, criminal activity, betrayal, a large body of water. Where is this person going over a large body of water? Look, large bodies of water. I told y'all somebody is like moving. It says the unconscious, the subconscious, evil forces, darkness, night, cold weather, the winter. So, again, I really feel, I really on a high level feel like if someone has not made the decision to pack up and move, um, you need to go ahead and do what your heart is telling you to do because I feel like someone has already made their mind up. They just haven't. This two of wands is telling me you, you have not like actually put your footing into you. Like, I don't know. It's like, I don't know if you didn't get your plane ticket yet, your boat ticket or whatever. You seem to have the help and assistance. This is telling me that you, you have opportunities. This is telling me that this is over. So do what you need to do. Let this person deal with what they need to deal with. You do what you need to deal with. Because you had to move and this person had to. You had to go in this direction. This person has to go in that direction. And that just is what it is. So let's um, get into the reading for the couples and the singles. If there's anybody that would be so kind to put some time stamps in. We started with the couples. All right, let's start with the couples for my Pisces. Treat me nice, please. Let's see what we're doing, baby. What's going on with my couples? Give me guidance for my couples. It says, play like it. Okay. You decide where to eat. Say that shit again louder. Let me get one more. Ooh, that was a lot. <laughs> I said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and what's this last one down here say? What? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, this is talking about anal. Okay, so let me get into each one of these cards, please. And I want to say each one of these kind of came like this. So it says you're on the same team. So play like it. This one says... Just say those five little words. You decide where to eat. So, just off of these two right here. Off of these two alone. Um, I feel like you guys... I feel like there's a power struggle. It's like someone doesn't know how to play the back seat and, and, and at the same time... The both of you guys don't know when you need someone to step up and to be the boss. Like, 
I want to say the Pisces kind of has a... Uh, you can have that dominant personality when you want to, but I want to say you're more passive. You know what I'm saying? And the person that you're dating, you kind of need them to make decisions a little bit more sometimes. And you don't mind doing it sometimes, but you don't want to do it all the time. And it's like you're not a mind reader. So it's like you guys need to understand how to have that uh, past pass the baton type of thing with the power you know what I'm saying it's like sometimes you can give it to the masculine because it's like I feel on, a, on an aspect as well like the masculine does need to kind of step up more in the masculine role and not necessarily leave it all on the female to make a lot of the decisions it says you're not being heard say that shit a little louder Okay, there's an aspect of you guys not listening to each other, neither. You guys are on the same team, play like it. Someone isn't being heard, and there's an issue with the decision making in this relationship. Someone needs to be more dominant, stand up, especially in the masculine role, and start making a little bit more decisions and things. And you know, you guys really, really need to support each other. Now, y'all telling me to shut the fuck up. Like, y'all telling me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> you don't know what the hell you talking about. Still love you. <laughs> Yo, this is funny as shit. Talk about shut the fuck up. You still... <laughs> You don't know what you're talking about. Still love you. XO, XO. See, that's what the cards are talking about, though. It's like someone is telling you what's going on. And it's like the person is completely not hearing them. Say this shit louder. Like, don't tell someone that they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Because there's someone, especially if this is tying into this. If this is the one that's not being clean, the one that needs to work on their parenting, it completely needs to change their whole arrangement with their self. Because, again, this person is being urged to change. It clearly says here. But there's still, you got the Empress in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, man. And, again, this is someone that needs to accept that shit is, all, you know what I'm saying, then, it didn't work out. It didn't work out to force you to change. So you can't tell people to shut the fuck up that we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Because clearly, someone knows. Someone knows. This says it's time for anal. Now listen. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. We ain't want to get all into that. It says yazzing a matter a little deeper. <laughs> Yo, it's like, <laughs> I feel like with it saying that, with that, I feel like, okay, and then with this not being heard thing too, I feel like there was a level of sexual kink that needed to be explored in this relationship that was not being it was like, I want to say someone was just completely not open to it at all was not open to it at all and I completely understand it may be hard for someone that is completely not adventurous and it's like you know everybody is not into that type of thing but um I feel like there was a complete resistance and mm, uh, uh, um, mm, I feel like someone needs to be a little bit more open in the sexual thing and you can do it like I don't know what your man is working with. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, like, yeah. I don't know. I don't even know how to give advice on that. I don't know how to give advice on that. It's like if the person knows what they're doing and if they take their time with you, it could be a pleasurable thing. Like, you don't necessarily have to be completely opposing to doing it. Like, try to be somewhat open-minded if the person is, you know, wants to experience that, you know. That I, I, you know, I don't know. I feel like, you know, try it one time. If the person, you don't like it, you just don't fucking like it. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, 
yeah that shit literally said it's time for anal bro it's time for anal like seriously and I could go deeper into what I think about this car, but honey, I'm not going there with y'all today. I'm sure not. Y'all can read into that with y'all want to. A book of personal reading, honey. We'll see what come up in your tea, honey. Good luck. Girl. All right, give me two cards. Thank you so much. You got maturity, and I don't know why, because it's, okay. You got the maturity, and then you got the what? The sacred woman. So... You got the sacred woman. This sacred woman card is telling me that the woman is very earthly. It's, it's very earthly, very spiritual woman and all of that. Things like that. Um, I can say that there is someone in this relationship that lacks maturity because it still is saying that someone is not listening and not willing to listen. Um, and I want to say it's still some someone that is... Um, limiting someone's sexual experiences you know what i'm saying and i'm not saying that they're wrong for doing that because again if it's something that you completely just i do not want to do anal that is not something that i've never seen in my life me doing i just don't want to do it do not do something that you don't want to do you know but at the same time like like i know people i know people that broke up because this girl wanted her man to get head and he just refused to do it. And she just like, you know what? I cannot live my, I love him, but I cannot live my life not experiencing this. And I really want this. So they broke up. You know what I'm saying? So you got to look at things like that. Like people shouldn't have to limit if that's what they want. I mean, listen, I don't know. Y'all take that for what the fuck you will. And again, I keep looking at this. Shut the fuck up. So y'all shut the fuck up. So you know me. Shut the <laughs> again, listen, someone is not being hurt, and you gotta recognize that you're on the same team. Okay? You gotta play like it. And like I said, whatever they're not hearing, say that shit louder. Say it louder until they understand. And then recognize that they just are not willing to understand certain shit. Then what the fuck you want them to do? You know, you need to be mature. Y'all need to be mature. Y'all need to hear each other out. And try to make your relationship as pleasurable as you can. It can't be one-sided. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let's get another uh, set of my Oracle cards before I go to the tarot. So, shorty. And again, with this sacred woman card here, I want to say, um, continue to practice your little, you know, your praying rituals and continue to be you. Um, like your, your intuition will guide you on what you need to do in regards to your relationship. Um, I feel like. I feel like you're trying to change things around. I see the mountains in the back. Look, it's safe for you to love. I, yeah, it's like something about, like with the mountains in the back, I feel like there are obstacles and hurdles in this relationship. And I feel like you are doing like some self-help, some like internal um it's like you're doing some internal work with yourself. With the sacred woman card. You know. It's like you recognize certain things within yourself. That you need to work on. That you battle with. That I feel like is affecting your relationship. That has absolutely nothing to do with with the relationship. It's just affecting the relationship. I feel like you are researching and trying to find that health medicine. To help remedy your soul. And to help you get over any type of past traumas or whatever. I feel like you're very spiritual. You have an ominence. Uh, and, and, a, and a radiant. Uh, uh, kind of energy that surrounds you. So continue your self help. And you know. It's safe for you to open up your heart. And to try to mend things in this relationship. And, and the more that you start healing. And working on yourself. And maturing and balancing yourself. The more things that work in this, you and then you got the engagement card. So, like again, it's basically saying what your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I see a woman here that's willing to work on herself. I see a woman here that's willing to recognize that 
the more that I take care of myself, it take care of the simple things that's going on in this relationship. Because as I'm getting better, this man feels my energy, and we're working on it's a team. It's a team thing. It's a team, you know. So whatever the immaturities are in this relationship, it seems like y'all are getting past it. And it's safe for y'all to open up to each other and love again. Like, you're being guided. Trust your wisdom. Do what you need to do. And a lot of the work needs to be healing yourself within. Because the more that you work on yourself, the more that things will work out in your life and in love. They saying life medicine. <laughs> Like no bullshit. Marriage isn't easy. Like being in a relationship isn't easy. And it's not just about you. You know. And sometimes people do have their own traumas. And their own issues and stuff. That has nothing to do with the relationship. That affects the relationship. And they know that they need to work on that shit. So shout out to you sister that's doing that. Give me guidance for my Pisces couples. And relationships. Thank you. Give me guidance for my Pisces. Dang, is anything going to come out? It's a lot. You got the Two of Cups. You got the World. You got the Queen of Swords. And then you got the Six of Swords. I like this. So, I definitely feel like you guys, your relationship is ascending to... It's, it's soon... Oh, okay, I love this. I love this. I love this. Okay, you got the two of cups in the world. So you already have your soulmate. And again, like I told you, um, this could be a same-sex relationship. There could be most definitely a same-sex relationship. So I definitely feel like you have got past whatever lessons that you had to learn in the past. This is a card of traveling. This is a card of movement. Again, you guys could have moved to a new area. You could have recently just entered into a same-sex relationship and could have found your soulmate. Like, things are being blessed all around you. Like, honestly, again, this is someone that has recently moved. You see the Six, uh, the six of Swords again. This is someone that recently moved. This one is like... Showing a girl with children and things like that. So. And again. Okay. 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 Uh, reload it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just telling y'all what I see. And again, only take what resonates. And if this isn't a same sex relationship. This is just basically saying that. After you accept, after someone accepted, because you got the Queen of Swords right here. This is someone that understands, that has higher po power, 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 higher knowledge. You know, very intuitive. That believes in law and justice and truth, and just honoring themselves in communication. So it's like once I've recognized and was able to be truthful with myself and take. And stand up and be responsible for my actions and certain things that I need to clean up with myself. And honestly, stand alone and stand in my power and stand in my truth. I really do see, I mean, you see so much movement. You see so much movement. It's like once she decided, she took that sword and said, you know what? I know what's best for me. I need to take a little time for myself and by myself right now. I'm about to take my kids. I'm about to go in a new direction. And, you know... Um, I don't necessarily think that this is someone that needed financial assistance. This is someone that just needed advice and like, like people around them that understood what they were going for, what they were going for, what they were working towards. So they could just have that constant, you know, confirmation every day that they're doing the right thing. It's just having a community that. will always encourage you and give you the truth. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like they would never lie to you. Like, even if the shit hurts, like, you know, babe, you were in a toxic situation or you were acting this way. The only way that you can fix yourself is if you are being truthful and honest with yourself 
where you can really make the necessary adjustments for things to get better. And this is where things are getting better. That phase of their life is over. You've moved. You've moved on. you moved up. And again, like I said, you might have found love in a place that you never thought that you would look at it. You would look for it. Did you ever find it? You never know. And again, y'all don't be judgmental. Don't be like, I wouldn't be gay. I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't do this. You never know where the hell you would find love. Don't add look. I learned a long time ago. Never say never. You never know what's written in the stars for you. Okay? You ain't write the script. He did. So I'm trying to tell you. And God, that, listen, the God that I know to, hmm, love is love. Love is love, you guys. Love is love. So, in regards to a relationship, and especially, especially if you guys are truly, 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 um, if y'all had to break up from someone, like a man left because you had to get your shit together, and now you're in this relationship, if you're in a new relationship or you're entering a new relationship, uh, because all of this happened, because I want to say all of this happened and then someone had to do some self-work and then they ended up over here and now this is the new relationship. You went through all of this to learn growth and maturity and accept failures and to learn how to walk away and how to improve yourself, right? How to improve yourself. Don't be telling people to shut up. I don't know why this shut up card is triggering me. <laughs> don't be telling motherfuckers to shut up. It's like, nah. Um, make sure that you guys are both playing on the same team at all times. Make sure that you are communicating. If it's something that you genuinely don't have an interest in, be like, baby, I love you, but this is this. I don't want to do this. And you guys should be able to hear each other, you know? So... I'm going to leave this here. And again, the more that you work on yourself, the more that you're working on your relationship. And the more you do it, the more your partner is going to do it. And it's just going to... Anything that you were dealing with will completely wash over. So, that's you guys. Let's go into the singles. Shout out to my couples. so much give me guidance for my singles my single Pisces thank you what's this say you are here for a reason don't fuck it up you are loved you are here for a reason don't fuck it up I, you guys okay before I say too much okay hold on what does it say it says take a shot. Don't take 12. Take one. Okay, maybe two. Move on. <laughs> You're for re Okay. All right. All right. Before I say too much, let me let it come out. Shut your mouth and listen. Stop talking. Okay. So you guys my singles I feel like you guys are dating somebody you are dating somebody and I don't know who it is but only thing I know is whoever it is and whatever level of importance they are or whatever is going on you deserve to be here do you understand you deserve to be here don't fuck it up you are loved do you understand don't question don't doubt it if you hear you meant to be here don't fuck it up. I feel like you guys watch your drinking. Take a shot. Don't take 12. Take one or two and move on. Trust me. Do not, whoever this is you're dating and that you're getting to know, they probably are triggered or do not like people that drink a lot of alcohol. They probably don't mind you drinking. They don't want a fucking lush. Do not be sitting somewhere taking 12 fucking shots. Do you understand what I'm saying? Take a shot. 
maybe two, okay? You're here for a reason. You deserve this season. Don't fuck it up, Seymour, okay? And again, it says shut your mouth. And listen, stop talking. Don't be, don't, don't. Listen, let that person talk and tell you about this. Self. Don't be telling all your business. Okay, come on, Scorpio. It says time to let go and move the fuck on. If it's something that you've been holding on to, Scorpio, it's time to let that shit go. Time to let that shit go. Okay, it says if you are pissed at where you are, then stop talking yourself there. Ooh. Make better fucking choices. If you're pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. I'm sorry. Stop taking yourself there. Make better choices. So there is definitely something here about a Scorpio that is holding on to something in the past. Or it, it may not even just be something in the past. It just may be where that life is at in general. I feel like based on these cards that you're being given an opportunity, especially in a dating area. You are about to be blessed to be around someone that for whatever reason I feel like you don't think that you deserve to be around or that you never thought that you would really be able to date or talk to this person right now is not the time to shoot yourself in the foot and question your what you don't get into that low vibrational Scorpio shit don't be too talkative don't talk yourself out of a good situation. Shut your mouth and listen. Allow this person to talk. Allow this person to tell you what they need to tell you so you can learn about them. Don't be so talkative. Don't, don't give any bad impressions about no bad drinking habits. You're here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. You're here because these motherfuckers love you and you deserve it. Do you understand? Whatever you old issues, whatever you were going through, let that shit go. Let that shit be with God. Be at peace. Okay? If you're pissed at where your life is at, stop taking yourself there. So stop self-sabotaging. Do not self-sabotage. Okay. Wait, did I say something about to Anyway, let me shut up because I don't know if I say something about Scorpio. I, I don't know if I did or not, but I don't know. In my head, I felt like I did because it sounded like some Scorpio shit. <laughs> oh, it sounded like some Scorpio shit. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry if I did, bro. I swear, it did sound like some Scorpio so sabotage shit. But y'all know what? I'm a, um, I'm a Pisces rising. So, <laughs> I feel like this is so tough for me. I'm sorry, I felt like, ooh, bitch. Ooh, this this for me. <laughs> I'm not even a Pisces, but I swear I felt like that was for me, bitch. That was for me right there, Pisces. Ooh, honey, I said yes, ma'am. I felt like God is trying to tell you something. God is trying to tell you something right now, bitch, right now. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> it says it's divine, feminine. Yes, come on. Let's do one more for it, Pisces. Incompatibility. All right, Pisces. So you got the divine feminine and compatibility. So this is basically saying, listen, my ladies are definitely where they need to be in this stage in their life. You deserve to be here. Don't fuck it up. You are being blessed with people that are actually on the same wavelength with you that are compatible with you do you understand and what you used to do versus where you are right now you see all those fruits all around you you see how much you're grown you see how you are confident with yourself like you just are in like a blessed nature you're you're, you're in a like you're in, like you're fertile. Like I, I want to say like you're fertile. It's like there's so much growth and prominence around you. You know, you see how the animals all around you, things are just sprouting. You see the moon in the back. So like the phase that you are right now, I want to say things are, 
you have some type of gravitational pull. Things are, are coming to you now. Um, don't be surprised if you have an influx of communication of people trying to get to know you. And you may luck up and meet someone that is, may be of importance or someone that you may always wanted to date or you never thought that you could date someone like that before. So um, I want you to stay in that divine feminine energy. Again, shut your mouth and listen. Don't be drinking too much. And if you want change, be the change. Okay? Don't be t taking yourself to those old places. Don't take your mind to those old places. Whatever it was that you moved from. Completely move and remove it from your body and your system. Move the fuck on. You know? Give me two more cards for my Pisces. Okay. You got religious factors. So religious factors. So this is about someone having the same wants and desires as you that's why i feel like it's telling you to be quiet and don't talk so much because this person to tell you where they are in life what they want what they're seeking and you'll be able to know from their mouth not you speculate and not you know this person will show you and will tell you what it is that they want and what they desire and then you'll be able to make your decision there and i definitely feel like you're attracting people that want the same type of relationships and the same type of lifestyle that you want so bless and then you got playfulness you got playfulness. Continue to show that personality. Continue to smile. Continue to make other people smile. Continue to be in your best bestest. Girl, everything else is asbestos. Do you understand me? Hello. Continue to be in your best bestest. Everything else is asbestos, girl. Everything else is asbestos, girlfriend. Come on now. All right. And what is this last one? Give your relationship a chance. You coming into something new. I think that you guys are going to have a good time. I feel like you should give it a chance. You're definitely in. I feel like this is your season. You're here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. Y'all singles. Hello. Listen. I'm, let, hold on. I'm taking some of this energy with me. Because shit. I'm a goddamn Pisces. Goddamn rising. Okay. I'm, I'm single. I'm taking some of this energy with me. Because shit. I don't. <laughs> Hello, I'm trying to meet somebody of a poor Tiante, okay? I want to meet me somebody on board. All right, let's get this last closing energy and we're going to wrap this up. I know that this video has been long, but thank you guys for chilling with your girl. Give me three cards for Pisces, my singles. What is this here? You got the King of Wands in the reverse. Oh Lord. The rock and roller. Definitely someone older than you though. So older gentleman. I feel like this is uh okay, what is this? The temperance in the reverse. Okay. I don't know about this. Okay, what's this? The Ten of Cups. So, I want to say with this Ten of Cups and this Temperance in the reverse, um, I don't know if this is the Pisces or if this is someone that um, a female Pisces is dating. Uh, I want to say that this is someone here that is not necessary. They're older than you, but they are not showing you that they're commitment ready i want to say this person has a commitment phobia because of um a relationship that they had in the past because you do have the ten of cups here so tens can means beginnings and endings do you understand what i'm saying um this could have been with the ten of cups being in the upright this could be someone that they are necessarily um not over completely they might have lost faith in love. Uh, they could have really loved this person. Damn, why I want to feel like the person that they... Um, why I want to feel like the person that they were with passed away. I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting that. I felt like this person... It was like somebody was removed from this person while they were still 
in the relationship or still in love or something like that. And it's like, because of that, it's like they just decide to never like marry again or like give their heart fully. It's like they don't, with the temperance in the reverse, it's like they don't have faith in commitments or relationships because they know that it can it can leave or it's ever someone that they loved a lot and something happened you know and it's still remnants of it there or it's still love there so it's like they are not prepared to give their heart like that they don't it's like something about the belief in of, of marriage or they don't believe in their ability they don't believe in their ability or something like that I'm just telling you what I'm seeing here. But there's someone here that really wants a relationship with someone that I don't think that that person feels like they could. It's like they feel like they will fuck it up or something. I don't know if it's because of what they did in the past or that they just in general don't believe in marriage or they believe that they can have happiness without marriage or something like that. Um... Or without having to say that they're committed. But the King of Wands is like in the reverse. They don't believe in commitment. Um, they don't believe that they can be faithful. It's something like that. And you know like they feel like they can have a happy relationship. But they just don't want. I want to say the pressures of saying that they're in a relationship. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, and again. That's why I'm saying it's something about like religious factors. It's like people being on the same page. And that's why if you be quiet and listen, the person will tell you that. The person will tell you that. I definitely feel like whoever this person is that is desiring love, if it's the divine feminine and you're looking for that compatibility, continue to give relationships a chance. But don't talk so much. Listen, let these people and make sure that you always give a good first impression. Do you understand? Especially when you're around certain people, you know, make sure that you give good impressions. But just because there's something by there's somebody or something of importance or whatever it is and you're trying to give a good impression, that does not mean that this person can necessarily be the correct fit for you because this person may not want and believe in commitment and believe in relationships and don't have faith or don't have the same religious principles and you know. They may not want what you want because they're older and they might, you know, so you got to pay attention. But anyway, I love you, Pisces. Thank you for spending time with me today. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Tell me how this resonates down in the comments. Peace.